Okay, this is the great and glorious Nick Dutch here yet again with some more uh, fun from Tara. We got um, quite a few little questions to do today. We got um, three people again who are all asking for various questions. With this particular short tarot show, I'm not going to mention any names, okay? We're just going to see what comes through. All right, this is an extra method I'm doing. The cards have already been shuffled. I'm just doing a few extra cuts just to increase the randomness so that it can be, uh, so I, I guess, so that you guys know that none of this is preempted. None of this has been rehearsed. This is all just completely off the cuff, all right? These days, because of the current economic climate, I get a lot of questions about work and about how people are going to like navigate through their futures. Now, basically, you know who you are. This one particular client is asking about how they're going to get on with uh, the boss and the colleagues in the workplace during the next two-month period because there's obviously been you know, rumors of redundancy and all the rest of that. So let's just have a quick look. We'll do a simple four-card spread. So roughly speaking, in time frame, that'll be two cards for each time period. And the only time of concerns we've got is within the first month, when, of course, the Five of Cups, which uh, in this tarot deck is labeled Disappointment, is coming through. Now, disappointment doesn't necessarily refer to uh, actually receiving a disappointment, all right? Because we've got the Strength card reversed, because we've got the, um, the Nine of Swords reversed next to it, that demonstrates to me that in this particular case, Fear is your worst enemy, your own fear. So the kind of things you need to think about during the next four-week period, roughly, is how you're presenting yourself so you're not demonstrating that you are basically um, afraid. Because this feeling of disappointment has to be overcome. It's almost like um, if you believe that you're going to trip up and fall over, then it's more likely that's going to happen. All right. I'm not saying that purity self-belief will overcome any difficulties, but you need, and you need to apply your wisdom there. Okay, but essentially the general trend here is you've got to be relatively optimistic and try and make your temperament actually sell you to keeping yourself and your in your life and your your job going. All right. The second half of this time period, namely the um, kind of like four to eight week period. There, we've still got some signs of a feeling of belonging, a feeling of fellowship, and a sense of insight and having received wisdom. We seem to have a change in pace and a change of environment. So instead of the working environment becoming more complex, it seems like you'll be involved with many more people within your company. I know it's a large organization you're working with, so um, I wouldn't basically be, be, too, be too worried about that. But it's essentially the accents that you will be experiencing and feeling, namely everything is to be done with communication. I know it's a rocky time within the job, so make sure you're communicating yourself in a way which is more likely to keep you where you are. Now, I can't go into too many specifics here, but essentially I think you know what I'm talking about there. All right. Now, the second question that I've got, and I'm preparing the deck yet again, remember it's still being shuffled, this is for another client. This one's a lady client. He's concerned about some amorous approaches from a male colleague in the workplace. So let's just have a quick look and see what's coming through for you there. We'll design this in a similar manner to the eight-card relationship reading. And despite the fact that I've uh, cut the deck a few times, we've got some of the same symbols coming through. Now, that's very abnormal. But the interesting thing here is on the side of the person that you're talking about, we got the futility symbol. We got the seven of swords and it's reversed. So what we're talking about is a character who is or who feels that they're very heavily involved within the organization but is essentially disrespected and disrespectable by the organization's point of view and vision. The force between you and him, this is peculiar because there is a sense of potentially actually getting on a lot better. So he might be an enemy at first, 
but it does look like that's going to turn round. Obviously, on the amorous advantage side of things, reject them, push him away as best as you can. The fact that we got the same kind of signs coming through, I mean, I could have, I could have cut the deck at any place uh, because I've cut through many, many times. The chances of the same cards coming through again for the second reading is incredibly, incredibly small. So we've got some similar mess messages here about be careful about how you interact with this particular one guy and how it affects you in the longer term. Now, future progression. Long-term future progression is out of isolation. Now, you mentioned in your email to me that you essentially wanted to go it alone for the moment. Okay, that's great. Long-term, that's going to happen for you. Uh, hmm. But as the signs within the short and medium term are those of creating some kind of feeling of equilibrium, balance, and understanding in the short term, uh, you can't rush this person away completely because of the work dynamics. But the mid-term future is that of this person taking a much better attitude towards you. So it won't be amorous advances anymore. It will be done in the sense of wisdom, in the sense of uh, good spirit. So you're going to be back in control of this situation without any uh, unpleasant repercussions. You're just going through a bit of a twisted head fuck at the moment. So I'm just going to cut the cards once, put the original spread in the middle, just for convenience's sake, and we're going to answer the third question for um, the next person. All right. The whole of the reading, I mean, despite the fact we've had Valentine's Day and the rest of it, now this is just another work question. This is a character, this is a guy who's gone self-employed and wants to make sure that he can make it. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, from the outset, okay, we've got the... Um, we got the six of coins, but it's reversed. It would normally point to a sense of success, satisfaction, a feeling of joy from the workplace. But it's suggesting that that's like the optimism or the positive state of mind you've got at the moment. Yes, we've got plenty of signs of you enjoying the work that you're doing. I understand you're taking to painting. I understand you're taking to caricatures. I understand you're doing a lot of freelance artwork, as well as your main line, which seems to be financially driven. So the feeling that I've got within this reading is that of pleasure. But don't let the pleasure distract yourself, okay? Because long term, we've got good signs of conflict. Now, I say those are good signs of conflict because there's nothing in this reading talking about destruction. So you've got your work cut out for you in a big way, all right? And long term, it'll be decision making. So I think what you're doing is actually laying down the foundation for something new and something proper for yourself. The lover's card does not necessarily mean amorous affection. It depends upon the questions that are asked. In this particular reading, it's more the passing of the waves type message. So what you're doing within this year is going to lay down a foundation for something new, not necessarily of the same path. So, so just bear that in mind. Okay? Good fortune. God bless. Look after yourself. Bye for now.